Now let's talk about some non-member functions of a string. You must be familiar with this one. This will print out the string s1 into the standard out. See in s1. This will read a line from standard input and save in s1. There's a f another function called get line. See in s1. This will do exactly the same thing as this one. It will read a line from the standard input, so the function will return whenever it sees a carriage return. The getLine function also allow you to specify your own delimiter. So if I do say in S1 semicolon, now the delimiter is semicolon. And in this case, it, it is using the default delimiter of a new line. There's a function called toString, which can convert a number into a string. So if we do toString8, this will convert 8 into a string and save it in S1. Let's ignore the compile error for now. This is because I'm using a compiler that doesn't support this function yet. And we can also convert a floating point number, 2.3, uh, maybe E7. And then S1 will contain 2300000.000. We could also convert a hexadecimal number into a string, 0xA4. And then S1 will have 164. And of course, we can also convert an octal number, 0, 34, and then S1 will contain 28. So these are the ways to convert a number into a string. Now let's talk about how to convert a string into a number. So say S1 equal to 190, a string. And we can use integer i equal to S2i, S1. So i will become 190, an integer. And this function will work even if S contains something else in the string like 190 monkeys and suppose we have another variable size t pose and then do i equal to s2 i s1 and then address of pose this will again i contains 190 and what about the pose pose is the index of the character where this function has stopped passing the number. So it will be index of this space character. So pose equal to 3. Now let's say we have s1 equal to a monkey. And then we do i equal to s to i s1 pose. This will throw an exception of invalid argument because this function will fail to find a number from the string s1. However, if we do i equal to s to i s1 pose 16, this will try to extract a hexadecimal number from the string s1 and it will see a as a hexadecimal number. Therefore, it will get an i equal to 10. So the s2i function converts a string into an integer. We also have s2l, which converts a string to a long, s2d to a double, s2f to a float, etc. However, these s2 functions and the toString function only does simple string conversion. If you want more complex data formatting, you have to use string stream, which we'll talk about in greater detail later on. 
Another option is using lexical cast from boost library. This function also does simple string conversion. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. See you next time.